Hi, my name's Simon Davies, branch manager of Norman F. Brown's Beedale office. Uh, I'm down here at Beedale Beck to give you a bit of a, a quick market update on the Beedale property market. I'll start with um, uh, some national um, average statistics. Uh, right move um, in the house price index have just recently reported that the July uh, average asking price um, uh, for the UK is, is just over £369,000. Now in June it was £368,000, so it is an increase, however the rate of increase is slowing. Um, June was 9% 9.7% uh, year on year up, um, in July it's 9.3% uh, year on year up. Not a massive change, but a drop in the rate nonetheless. Uh, locally, uh, in the Hambleton area, house prices now stand at £255,000 as an average uh, house price, uh, and in Richmond it's £266,000. Uh, in the Hamilton area, that's a 7% year-on-year uh, house price increase. Uh, so more locally, um, what, we're, what we're seeing is um, still a lack of supply, uh, and still we've still got high demand, although that demand um, is dropping. It's nothing like it was last year. Um, so far this year, there have been 230 um, uh, new instructions to date, with 167 sales. So that's a, uh, a sales to new instructions um, a percentage of 72%, um, which is effectively 72 properties out of 100 um, are currently sold to its contract. Um, our statistics, um, I'm pleased to say that um, we're outselling um, all our uh, local competitors. Um, we've, uh, we've agreed uh, 58 sales uh, year to date. Our nearest competitor has done 13, um, and that's from 65 new instructions. Um, which is a, again sales to instruction rate. That's that's pr pretty much ninety percent, um, which is uh, well above the, um, uh, the the average for the Beedale area. Um, with the view on the future, difficult one to predict still. However, we are seeing a drop in demand, as I mentioned earlier. Um, supply is still relatively low, albeit we are seeing a few more properties come to market. Um, we're just approaching um, summer holiday season where things do go a little bit uh, quieter sometimes with people going off on the holidays. Um, however, with the low supply and demand still as it is, we expect there still to be um, uh, a, gr a great opportunity to get, to get a property sold during the, uh, the summer months. Um, longer term is a bit unknown. We, we have inflation um, at a record level, uh, the highest level for 40 years as reported earlier this month. Um, that is going to have an impact. The Bank of England are already talking about raising the interest rate by, by uh, half a percent, uh, potentially, uh, or they're not ruling that out, I should say. Uh, it's currently at 1.25%. Now, if you remember, at the end of last year, it was 0.15 of a percent, so that it's increasing at a rate of knots to try and fight inflation. And essentially, what, um, what we're reading, um, and, it, and it does completely make sense, the higher the interest rate, the higher the mortgage um, rates, the less affordable it is to try and buy a property and therefore demand will drop as the interest rate goes up. Uh, we think the big, um, the big, the big crux of the market uh, uh, property wise will be winter. If it is a uh, cold winter and we have to spend an awful lot on increasing fuel bills um, that may eat into people's savings or deposits uh, and therefore it's going to be really interesting um, to see what's happening with the property market in spring, whether property prices fall, whether they drop back um, or, or level off. We'll have to take it day by day and just see how it comes. So that's uh, hopefully a very uh, quick informative view on the property market. If you are um, one thinking of a sale, please get in touch with Beadell's top selling estate agent with award-winning customer service. Uh, we're here to help.